Here is an attractive little nymph pattern that gets the attention of trout in darker waters. The fly is tied on a Mustad C49S size 16 hook with 10 ADOT thread. There is a 332nd tungsten bead on the front. The tail, winkcase, and legs are brown midge crystal flash. The body is tan UVI stub and ribbed with small copper wire. The thorax is brown olive eye stub. Well, good day, folks, and uh, another segment of the bench here today. We're going to bring you a uh, little sparkle nymph. This is a size 16. I've got a 332nd uh, brown magic uh, tungsten bead on the front of this. You can use this in lakes, you can use it for a little dropper as well in some rivers. This is a nice little fly that'll you can tie and eat small sizes quite easily. I'll bring in uh, some this tan midge flash, a little copper flash here, or crystal flash. A little bit for the tail. This here is pretty simple. You can just tie it in and then drop it back over itself if you want more. Or depends on how many fibers you want in there for the tail. Trim it off to size. Pretty easy. I like that tail coming around the corner a little bit. Like so, and then I'll bring in some ex extra small copper wire. Get a little ribbing on there. And uh, I'm not going to use a rotary there. I'm going to dub this on by hand. I want to mash these this hackles or this uh, dubbing down nice and tight on the thread. It's a nice bright little fly. I, prim I primarily was using this in, in stained lakes, lakes that had some color to them. Then I started just going to maybe some rivers or streams that were a little dark. And I found this was a really nice, uh, attractive little nymph. The fish responded to it pretty good. So I just want to show this one to you. It's like not a hard fly to tie at all. I'll just come through here and rib the body, give it a little segmentation. More the back here. So it's uh, pretty user friendly. Now I'll just take my uh, midge flash. I want to uh, tie it back or itself a couple times here yet. So I'm going to tie the front. I'll come back to the back of the thorax area with it. It's going to form wing case legs. Then I'll bring in a little darker. This is going to be the olive brown ice stub. I just fell in love with this stuff many, many years ago when it came out, and I still use it a lot. It on here, roll it on pretty tight, get it to the back of the thorax, get it started, then we can tighten it up a little more. I want this to be a pretty neat little fly, I don't want a lot of stuff sticking out of it. Okay, then I'll just bring my wing case forward, behind the bead. And we'll take these uh, crystal flash here and try to get about half on each side. Go right, get a half over there, half over here. Put a little whip finish on that. You can put colored thread on there if you wish. Trick it out however you want. Um, then I'll just take and cut these legs off about halfway down the body. It's a really easy little guy to tie and it's a size 16. It's a great little dropper or, or you can fish it 
under a cork as well if you want to drift it in the stream or something or in a lake uh, fish it just even with an intermediate line in a lake no problem at all and it's worked quite well for me like that so drop a little head cement on there and there you go no sparkle nymph all the best to you with this one i know uh it'll get you into some fish it's been good to me over the years so thanks for watching we appreciate brent sharing this little treasure with us today this fly tied in various colors has been effective over the years thanks for joining us again and we hope you are able to visit our website for many more videos tv episodes and pro tips along with a good selection of flies and sport fishing on the fly branded fishing clothing